What up, guys? What's going on? It's your boy Kylie. Be back again. Um, I believe I told y'all that I was gonna do an arm video, right? So today is the day for that. So taking some of Ronnie Coleman pre-workout. See, that's one thing that I can say about his pre-workout. Like it gets, it gets hard really fast. So what I do is just go like this. Kind of, kind of make it scoopable. Shit's too, gets too hard. Not bad though, but full scoop of this shit is like. 420 milligrams, pretty strong. I'm sensitive to caffeine. I'll take like half a scoop and I'm ready to go and do right. So start off with arms. Again, I'm showing y'all a 30 to 45 minute workout for arms. So again, you know, I'm very efficient. I like to do uh, super setting a lot. So what we gonna do is, again, I like to get my heavy lifts out the way. So as you can see down here, I have the heavy, the heavy lift, and the light lift. Now see, it's simple, it's simple curls, barbell curls, but how I'm gonna have you do it is what make it advanced, what's gonna make it harder. It's not just, I'm not just gonna curl the shit. So I'm gonna show you. As I'm doing my heavy set, I'm doing my heavy sets for 10 to 12. When I go to the light, I'm gonna go very slow. Control, slow, up, slow. That just makes it that much more harder. Now doing that, right after doing this, you're gonna get a crazy burn, and you're gonna get a crazy pump. And that's the point, that's what you want, you know? So then from here, I'm gonna jump from this to doing incline uh, uh, skull crushes. If you ever done that, I'm pretty sure people done this where they, they did flat bench skull crushes. Well, if you tried it on this, it's a little bit more difficult. So I'm gonna do it on here with this, with the barbell, and then, uh, I think I had dumbbells. What did I do with the dumbbells? I had 30 pound dumbbells, but I'm gonna get the dumbbells. But also have 30 pound dumbbells for each arm as well. So that way, you're supersetting the heavy lift with skull crushes with dumbbells. I'm all big on, on, on supersetting. Y'all already know how I am with supersetting. The heavy lifts first, and then light lifts. So to get the heavy lifts out the way, and then you go and work on the accessory work. So let's get it in.
what, two, three minutes? This shit right here. Burns, you can already see I already got a pump. My arms are tight already. This right here, very good exercise. You need to get in and get out. So, I did, um, over here on my curls, the heavies, I did 12. And then I did uh, 10 with the light. Then I came here and I did 15 with the skull crushes and 15 of this. And that's all one set. And what you're gonna do is three of them. So I got two more go around. When you do this, first, do the heavy lifts. Like I said, in, in my other videos, I like to think of it. When you're doing heavy, you're building that muscle up. When you go light, and you start doing the accessory work for lightweight, high reps, chopping up the muscle. You know, you're molding it out. So here, what I'm kind of doing now, in the beginning, is pumping that muscle up, I'm doing my heavy lifts. So I'm getting the muscle to expand. The more blood flow you can get pumping into the muscle, the more you're expanding it, which is what's gonna make it grow more. The slow reps, the time under tension, what that helps for is to get under those deep muscle fibers. So you're breaking those muscle fibers down, the deep ones under, and then that's what also make it help to grow back to be bigger and stronger. That's why time under tension is important as well. Have you ever seen people that bench, they hold it down here and they shoot back up? That's because they're digging into the deep muscle fibers under here. And as you destroying those, basically you're breaking them down, when they grow back, that's how you can get stronger. So it's the same thing with every other body part. Time under tension and, and slowly doing slow reps and then explode. So here we go. So after doing this, I advise taking at least 60 to 90 seconds on your break. No longer, jump back into it, try to do it again. Now, by the time you get to either your second or your third set, you're probably not gonna be able to keep up with the same reps and that's fine, because obviously you, you, you tiring out the muscle. So, you're not gonna be able to get the same reps for everything, it's fine, as long as you at least try to get close to it in a sense. So if you did 15 here, at least try to get 12, you know? But if you can't get 12, then 10 is fine. So you just try to do the best that you can with each set. exercise work every exercise it doesn't matter there's no secret to nothing 
it's just, just consistency in training. That's it. As long as you in here every day, you can do one exercise of, of dumbbell curls and barbell curls. You can do that shit every day, do the same shit, as long as you can go heavier and maybe make the reps more. Even just doing that will grow your arms. And that's what everybody does. That's the, the simplest shit is curling. And that's what I got you doing here. Like, I'm having you curling and then time under tension. But there's really no fancy ways, no fancy different type of exercises, you know, that you can do to grow your biceps or your triceps. The two things I say is this, one is just genetics on how big that your body can go to its capacity until it can't grow anymore, right? So, you know, for me, I got big arms because I train them, yes. Am I in here training these shits like three, four times a week? No, I train my arms one time. There's no secret exercises, guys. All of them work, doesn't matter. Whether they're cables, they're dumbbells, they're uh, barbells, does not matter. They all work, triceps, biceps. Don't get caught into that, all right? Everything works, just use everything. So, what's, what's how we do it again. Do it again. builders. This is how we <laughs> Alright guys, next exercise, what I'm going to do, <clears throat> I'm going to mix it in with some curls, right? With dumbbell curls, not too heavy, this is, this is good for me. So mix it in with these, go back and forth, like that. 10 each arm, so you count up to 20, however way you want to do it, 1, 1, or 1, 2, 3, 4, however. 20, and then when you, come, when you finish from there, you drop it. Preacher curl. Now you do preacher curl. It, again, it's like time under tension. Slow, slow movements. Up, and down slow. Up, slow. Now when you're going up, right? When you get here, you're trying to squeeze, like you're trying to fucking bust a grip between your forearm and your fucking bicep. So when you come up, you squeeze, squeeze that muscle. Come all the way down, stretch it. Come up, squeeze. Come down slowly. I'm gonna try to hit 10 to 12 of those. When you finish with that, I'm gonna come over here. And this is sorta in the same movement as skull crushes, but not really, it's like standing. And you're gonna lean your back against this. Come back like this. Easy, easy peasy, 20 of these. From here. And you're gonna try to hit at least 15 to 20 of these. And all of that is one set, three sets, three rounds. Again, y'all know me, big on super set. Now, for some people, this might seem like it's a lot. If it seems like it is, then it's okay. If you want to slow it down by just doing your biceps first, that's up to you. But again, this video is to show y'all how to get out of here in 30 to 45 minutes. It's a quick workout. So when it comes to doing quick workouts, sometimes it's gonna require you to move back and forth. You may have to move over here, and you may have to move over there. But you cover more ground and you get your workout done faster that way. You know, that's just up to you on how you want to do it. I know for me, when I'm trying to get out of here fast, if I have to walk to, from A to B to C to D, I do what I got to do so I can be efficient to get up out of here quick. All right? Let's get it in.
thing you can see, but it's pouring out there. That's probably why my energy was low every time. I don't know. It's like you connected with the universe and shit. I really do feel like that because every time when it fucking rains, or if it's about to rain, I'm tired. Like I'm sleepy. I want to relax. It's a little bit tougher to get in the gym sometimes when it's, it's raining like that. Now we're going to the accessory work, the cable work. So this one is all based on lightweight with a lot of reps. So what we're going to do with this one, this right here is what I call the finisher anyway, by the way. This is the last thing I do after I do all of like my, my power curls and, and uh, tricep exercises, dumbbells or barbells, whatever. After I finish those, I come here and I do this. This is a pyramid set, right? So this is how this is going to work. We're going to start at 20. We're doing curls, by the way, first. So start at 20, right? Come closer, y'all can see. This is, you're going to start with 20, and you're going to do 50 reps. You're going to go to 25. Gonna do 40 reps. I'm gonna do 30. Then you're gonna do 30 reps. Then you're gonna go to 35. You're gonna do 20. You're gonna jump, skip 42, go to 50 and do 10. So you're just doing a pyramid going all the way down. That's a finisher. That shit right there, you get the craziest fucking pump and craziest burn, man, after. I guarantee if you was to do this at least twice, three times a week, yo, you'll cut your arm down. This right here, it burns like a motherfucker. And I, I kind of, I used to do this back in New York, right, where with my friends, where whoever took the most breaks is the loser, because you know, obviously, you want to see your endurance, you want to see how long you can go. But I'm pretty sure on this, for me, I'll probably take a good amount of breaks. It's been a while since I did this, but this is a good finisher right here. So let's get this done. Instagram, I'll put me and him uh, Instagram up there. Also, my camera woman we put them all up in the description. Y'all can follow us, man. We do a whole bunch of fitness things and just follow us, man. All right, until the next one. Peace out, y'all.